Hello everyone, here is Matthias and Matthias. Yeah, from Trading Room. Today's topic is correlation. Yeah, I think it's very important to understand correlation. Um, what do you think? What is the important or the most important thing about correlation? Um, as you maybe be a beginner or something like uh, advanced trader. Um, maybe at the beginning you should have. Um, yeah, an eye on the correlation because um, it should be a part of risk management and the more positions you, you're opening or you, the more you're trading or the more different forex pairs you're trading, oh, <laughs> more important is the correlation because um, yeah, you're going to, to have a higher risk in, in your trading mm -hmm. you don't have an eye on it. Okay, yeah, great. And I have here open... Um, home page so doesn't matter right now was it is exactly but yeah I want to show you all here yeah it is important that you maybe select two currency pairs with a very low correlation so this means not a very high positive correlation and not a very low negative or very high negative correlation for example, this here is um, Euro dollar and Japanese yen Great Britain pound. And as you can see here, on the daily chart, the correlation is very close to zero. So currently we are at minus 19. And the same on the hourly chart here, we are currently at a level of yeah, plus five. And this means you can trade Euro dollar and Great Britain pound Japanese yen on an hourly and a daily basis without an additional risk. So what I mean by that is if you have a, yeah, a risk 1% per trade, then you can trade both currency pairs at the same time with 1% risk because this is no double risk, I would say. Um, you know what I mean, Matthias? Maybe it was yeah. a bit difficult to explain I it. I think I know what you mean. Okay, um. cool. <laughs> but yeah, yet, yet now let's have a look at another example. I selected one here. So Euro dollar, British pound, US dollar, or also known as cable. Um, it's right here. Which one was it? Euro, uh, Euro dollar and cable. Cable. Perfect. Yeah. And Nothing. yeah, what we can see here is the daily chart shows only a very low correlation between both currency pairs. But on yeah, the five minute chart, we have a very high positive correlation. And this is very important. Maybe you want to trade five minute charts with cable and euro dollar and you only heard about the correlation currently is very low so maybe around yeah let's see the correlation here is about 21 on a daily basis but this is very risky if you only know the current yeah the correlation on a daily basis because it looks pretty different on a five minute chart and if you trade both currency pairs at the same time then you double your risk so yeah, please be careful and check the correlation between two currency pairs before you, you traded both currency pairs very heavy. Uh, maybe we should mention that um, a high positive correlation means that if one pair is rising in price, the other one is rising too. So if you have two long positions, your risk is uh, doubled. Mm -hmm. And in other words, if you go long in euro dollar and short in cable, then on a five minute chart, then you, you're hedging yourself. So, because both are rising or both are decreasing at the same time. And if you go long and short in different currency pairs, then you're hedging yourself. And then have a look at on another example here, euro, Schweiz, euro Swiss franc and Euro Swiss franc and the other one is Euro Japanese yen. And this is a perfect example for, yeah, the correlation is positive, high positive correlated on each time frame. So you can see here the five minute charts we have, 
92 on the hourly charts we have 92 and a four hourly chart we have 93 and on a daily basis it's still yeah 85 so very high positive correlated uh, these two currency pairs but this is not valid for for infinite time so this correlation can be changed and yeah therefore i want to say you uh, give you an advice that you have to check the correlation on the time frame you traded maybe let's say on a daily basis you can check it every two weeks or maybe once a month and if you trade these currency pairs on an hourly basis maybe you can check this correlation every week or maybe every 10 days or something like that because correlation can change and you can see this here on a four hourly chart so the correlation was very high positive and currently is very high positive but in the meanwhile it was negative so minus 34 percent yeah so these are the things we want to to teach you and yeah make you pay attention to this when you trade two or more currency pairs at the same time you want to say to something additional, Matthias? Yeah, I mean, here we only have uh, currency pairs, but of course there are some other assets where correlation plays a role. And yeah, everyone should have an eye on correlation. Do yeah. not uh, have too high risk. Absolutely. Okay, so yeah, I would say that's it. So I hope that helps you. And if you have any questions regarding this topic or you have maybe suggestions for other topics, please write us to support at trademo.com. And yeah, that's it. That was Matthias and... Matthias. Okay, see you tomorrow, guys.